Hey Kratomites, this is Chris Irving from Kratom Kingdom in Knoxville, Tennessee, coming to you with all things Kratom. Um, as you probably have guessed, I failed miserably at not having as much Kratom today. But in an attempt to get my back pain to go away, I made a super cup of Kratom tea. I added 10 grams of Kratom, of red dragon kratom to my cup and then I added three cups three teaspoons of sugar just because I wanted it because I'm gonna have to guzzle this and it tastes terrible and the more kratom you add the more terrible it tastes plus I added turmeric to it which also doesn't taste very good but turmeric is a really good potentiator that strengthens the effect of the kratom and I added a whole bunch of lemon juice to make it palatable um, and to be honest with you, drinking this has made my back pain go away. I've got my sense of euphoria back. And I feel like I can make it through my day. I'm not depressed. I'm not anxious. I'm just me. And the reason I'm using this camera this time is because the sound quality sucked with that microphone. So I've really got to get a new camera. So I'm hoping that if I can get a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to afford a camera. Um, my family has finally gotten behind me on this because being a disabled old man with nothing to do all day, you know, it. I needed a hobby. So Kratom Kingdom is more than a hobby to me. It's a mission. But it gives me something to do and I'm learning something new and... And I'm talking about something that I'm very passionate about. Kratom. Or Kratom. Or however you want to say it. And... Yeah, it's really starting to take effect on me now. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to put this out there that... I failed and... But I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? It was it was a futile experience anyway. It was an exercise of futility for me with such an addictive personality to not take something that's going to take away my pain. I was trying to take a bunch of little cups where by having one big cup with a hard banger in it, it did the trick. So now I feel like I can go the rest of the day without any kratom. And I'm going to try, try, try to go tomorrow without any. But we'll see about that. If I can sleep later than 7 a.m., then I might survive. But I usually wake up at about 3.30 in the morning. And from 3.30 to 4.30, there's nothing for me to do. So I clean my house and drink kratom. And it's just become a habit. I don't eat breakfast until probably 10 or 11. And then it's brunch by that time. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a, are going to have a great weekend. And thank you so much for helping me get over 500 subscribers. I'm so blessed. I am so appreciative to all of you that stuck with me. Um, my new goal is... 600 by September so I think that's doable because every time I do a video I acquire one or two more subscribers so if you are watching this channel for the first time and you haven't yet done so please subscribe and hit the like button it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it makes my videos more available to people and it'll spread the good news about Kratom and I just recently deleted a video that I titled The Dangers of Kratom because I don't want any negative information out there on Kratom. And there really was nothing dangerous about Kratom. It was dangerous to your pocket, you know, because it can be expensive. That was about the worst of the danger that I could think of. Well, I'm going to call it a day, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.